Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. Aloha, I'm Miriam and this is Yes to Hawaii. We make Hawaii videos take the guesswork out of planning your trip. As always, I'll leave timestamps in the description box below, so feel free to skip around the video for the parts that you came here for. In today's video, we are doing a one-day flyover where we are going from Honolulu Airport on Oahu over to Hilo Airport on the Big Island. We're gonna do some sightseeing and check out the volcanoes. We just landed and oh, it is raining a little so bit outside. Hilo is definitely the rainier side of the island. Stop number one. And we are here at the National Park Bookstore, so if you're looking to get some souvenirs, this would be the spot to go. This is also a good restroom stop before we head out into the Volcano National Park area. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour so you know what to expect when you guys are here, or if you want to grab some souvenirs, you know exactly what you can get here. So we just finished our stop and we're heading back to the tour bus. Now these sunglasses, they're just ornamental. There's no sun here, so dress warm. A couple pro tips, whenever you come to the island, make sure that you do bring an umbrella. As you can see, it is drizzling out here. For those of you who say that it doesn't rain that much over here, 200 inches of rainfall every year on the Gila side of the island. After this quick stop, we headed to our second stop on the tour to go check out one of the craters. We're on the second stop in the tour and you can see just behind me, there's this huge volcanic crater and there's steam coming up as well. If you watched my earlier clip, I take back what I said about the sunglasses being ornamental use. As you can tell, the sun is coming out. A couple pro tips in terms of what to wear to bring. Of course, bring sunglasses, but definitely make sure that you bring a rain jacket or an umbrella. Hilo side, which is the side that we're on now, gets about 200 inches of rainfall every single year. And one little thing, such as an umbrella, which you can purchase at an ABC store for five or $10 can definitely make your trip. And now on to our third stop. We passed by these really cool steam beds and just to kind of show you how far we've gone around the crater, one, first stop, two, second stop, and now three, third stop. We headed in over to this area to go and check out the lookout point. This place was actually really, really cool. Even from where the area was blocked off for viewers to visit, you can see a lot. There's a lot of trails that are on here. And as you can see here, the steam beds were incredibly aggressive. So we're about to head back on the bus and continue on with the rest of the tour to check out more of Big Island. Our next stop was a short one. We stopped at this area over here to check out the different types of lava and to check out these really cool plants. It's super interesting that these plants sprung up from these lava fields and they're super vibrant too. Next, we headed to Thurston Lava Tube. This was our last stop at Volcano National Park. So as you can see, a little bit slippery, gradual incline, not a whole lot of steps. There's a few steps near the end. Um, and as you can see, we are in the rainforest. So if you didn't have a poncho, make sure you brought it with you or an umbrella. The rain has died down just a little bit, so it's still pretty nice. I really like that there were a lot of signs showing you what each type of plant was. This walk was absolutely gorgeous. It was super vibrant, super green, and even with the rain, it was still completely beautiful. We're heading on into the Thirst and Lava Tube now. This is a pretty cool spot, you'll see. We're here at the final stop on our tour of Volcano National Park. We are at the Thirst and Lava Tubes. They're over 700 years old. And as you can see, it's pretty amazing. The walk to get down here is going to be downhill and you'll be in the rainforest. So if you've got the ponchos or the umbrellas, make sure you bust them out right now. <laughs> this part of the lava tube was still a little dark, even with the lighting. So make sure to bring a flashlight or have your cell phone ready. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you bring an umbrella, maybe five or $10 at the ABC store or a rain jacket. And now for our sixth stop, Akaka Falls. This walk was absolutely gorgeous as well. You can go left for the shorter route or right to take the more scenic suggested route. We went to the right and it was beautiful. The entire trail is paved. 
There are handrails along the side and there are steps as well. It is well maintained and super easy to access. This was probably my favorite part of the entire trip. I loved being in the rainforest and as we got closer and closer, we finally could see Akaka Falls. And this video does not do it justice. These falls were huge. It was stunning and it was something that if you go to Big Island, you must go and see these waterfalls beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this video doesn't really do it justice. It's completely well maintained, paved the entire time. There's a few steps here and there, but overall gorgeous walk. You're in the rainforest. If you did, if you did happen to bring a rain jacket or an umbrella, this would be the time to actually bring it with you and not leave it on the bus because it will do no one any good on the bus. <laughs> We're here at the Black Sand Beach and it is the last stop here on the tour. This is the place where we'll split off into two different groups. If you're part of the first group who opted to do the 45 minute helicopter ride with Blue Hawaiian helicopters, your driver will take you over to the heliport at the airport, you'll do the flight and then you'll head back to Oahu. If you did not opt to the helicopter flight, you'll continue with the group on a guided land tour. This is a really great option because if some people in your group want to do the helicopter and some don't, you'll still be on the same tour and on the same flight back to Oahu. It's also really good because as I mentioned before, he, he <laughs> Sorry guys, the water is almost getting me. It's also a really great option too because Hilo does rain a lot and if your helicopter tour is canceled, that's completely fine. You can just join the rest of the group and continue on with the land tour. Regardless, you're still gonna see some great sights whether it's by land or by air. Well, we have made it. We are now at Blue Hawaiian Helicopters Heliport. We are anxiously waiting for our pilot to make the call if we're going to fly or not. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it is a 45 minute flight that flies over the volcano and over Hilo. So we are hoping that the pilot gives it a go. If not, we're gonna be rejoining our tour and we're gonna do the rest of the afternoon on a land tour and then flying back to Oahu. So we'll keep you guys posted. Unfortunately, it is three o'clock in the afternoon and the pilot has called it. Due to heavy cloud cover, our helicopter portion of the tour was canceled. If you do opt to the helicopter portion of the tour and it is canceled due to weather, it will be refunded. You'll have to go back to the tour company and they'll take care of the refund for you folks. And then I guess we're joining everybody else back on the land tour. So we'll do a little bit of a mix up and we'll show you more of Hilo. We're here at Liliukalani Gardens, which is the largest Japanese-style garden outside of Japan. And as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's super calm and zen here, and it's super nice, really well manicured, gorgeous, and minus me talking, it's actually really quiet. After we left the gardens, we headed down for a quick stop to visit the King Kamehameha statue. We learned a lot more about his life and the history of the island. We're here at our last stop, Rainbow Falls. Rainbow Falls is the only waterfall here on the Hilo side and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's 80 foot high and although the helicopter portion of our tour did not work out because of low cloud cover. There's a lot that we ended up seeing. We saw Lilukalani Gardens, which is the largest Japanese style garden outside of Japan. We saw the King Kamehameha statue, and now we're here at Rainbow Falls. What a perfect end to a perfect day. Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. They have activities like this one for Oahu and the neighbor islands. If you're interested in this activity or other Oahu activities, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if there's any other Hawaii videos you'd like to see, definitely leave them in the comments down below. <laughs> you know what's more important than bringing an umbrella on a trip like this? Remembering to bring it from the bus <laughs> on a trip like this. I bet that umbrella in the bus is keeping the bus real dry. <laughs>